Tommy found his fuel, buddy. And we've got a ruckus meeting over here, apparently. Whichever, doesn't matter. Oh yeah, Tommy go and get it. Anyways, apparently Tommy will be doing some vlogging as well today, so that makes two of us. Five minutes later. Alright Tommy, let's get going. <laughs> That's how he makes his intros. <laughs> And then you just gotta stand here and wait until he's done. Just like what other people do for me. And anyways, we are getting ready to go to a Moto Social event. And that is actually what the event is called. It's called Moto Social. Or the Moto Social. I don't know. One or the other. Yo, I'm gonna talk for a little bit, so I'll just join the mesh to calm in a bit. Goodbye. Oh man, it is a beautiful day. Not too hot, not too cold. Just wearing my casual gear. I was supposed to finish editing a video by tonight, but I got invited out by Mr. Light Mode and Tommy here to come to the Moto Social event. And I've never been to one of these before, so I don't really know what to expect. All I know is that it's a pretty big event. A lot of people just come and hang out, and maybe we'll see some other friends there, who knows, most likely. But yeah, I figured I would take this opportunity to make another vlog, so that is what I'm doing. Listen guys, it's been a busy week for me. Now, I'm not gonna spoil anything too much, but obviously if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I got a gimbal sent to me by Feyutech. I think that's how you pronounce their name. And um, I've been just having a lot of practice with that thing because I need to make a video about it and I want to make sure that I know what the hell I'm doing because I have never used a gimbal in my life. They gave me the highest ended... Highest ended? They gave me the most premium gimbal that they have, the newest one. It's called the AK4500. They make a self claim that it is the Godzilla gimbal. And yeah, I don't have any experience with gimbals, okay? But this thing is pretty crazy. It has so many parts to it. For a beginner like myself who has never ever used a gimbal, it's really frazzling. And you guys know how often I never use that word. Why don't you go do some work? Great, I will do that. Sorry, Pam, I just feel a little bit frazzled. And you know how very rarely I use that word. I know. Frazzled. You don't like to be frazzled. No, I don't. Okay. Well, yeah, it's been a lot of fun getting familiar with it. I'm excited to use it for some of my shoots. Obviously, you guys know that I love to do my cinematic stuff. And this is definitely going to help me out because A, I have a new camera. And B, because I love to challenge myself and try to get different shots as much as possible. Oh, we got Harley and Harley's little brother. Anyways, whenever it comes to meets like this, I tend to shy away from filming. But tonight I'm going to try to do it. Only because if I see people I know and I have conversations with them, then it's hard to film. And then vice versa. So I always feel like I have to sacrifice one or the other. But I'm going to try my best to capture exactly what the environment is at these meets. Uh, just for you guys who are local and maybe you guys have not been to a bike meet before, you're a little intimidated by how many bikes there are or just, you know, you don't really know what to expect. So hopefully I can capture it on film and uh, just enjoy the little cinematic that I have coming up. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I got your other angle, man, don't worry. Thank, thank. The great thing about these meets is that everybody gets to hear all these pipes. Look, he's filming me too, what the fuck? Oh, we're just all walking towards each other, I guess. <laughs> so behind that man, stand the motor man. These two just came up to him. I think they recognized him. Now he's talking to his fans. What do you think about that, Megan? Huh? Just finished up at this event. Now the four of us will be heading over to Granville Island to get some footage for Thomas's light mode kit. That was a nice event. Got to see a lot of different bikes. There's a lot of cruisers and cafe racers here. I guess that's the Vancouver scene for you. I'm just looking at your helmet, man. Two-tone. I like it. I'm also very surprised that this event was not shut down by cops. Everybody was just rev bombing. Do you know the way? I know the way. I spit on you. Do you know the way? 
Say I do not know the way. Go away, touch the head. Ooh, synchronized startup. Hey, watch your foot, man. Watch your foot. Do that one more time. You're not going to have a foot. Stand in the back. I am recording this on a Tuesday. This is a Tuesday night right now. So we are about four days out from the meet that me, Thomas, and my friend Kyle are hosting on Saturday. So I'm pretty sure that my meet video is going to be either the one after this, or maybe two videos from now, three videos, I'm not really sure. All I know is it's going up at some point. Alright, let's connect back with the group. Daddy's home. Don't say that, it's big curvy. <laughs> Wait, let me try it again, let me try it again. Daddy's home. Nope, even curvier. Daddy's home. Nope. Uh, I'm gone. You guys I'm gone. <laughs> oh, I did a wheel. Pulling over, pulling over. Sands in the back. So over, over there. Yeah, you guys are a bunch of hooligans, man. You need a ride? Oh, not me? Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> she was not impressed. <laughs> oh, she was hey. not impressed. On your left. Don't say it. Left. Come on! So what do we got here? We got a crispy chicken. No, no, I'm gonna order with my helmet and then I'm gonna eat with my mouth. Hey, you think I should do so, <laughs> uh, so judgmental. I'm gonna get a cheeseburger. I don't know about you. Nah, bruh. I'm not that hungry. Just got my meal. Cheeseburger with fries. Fries are extra for some reason, but whatever. Doesn't even come with a drink and this is like $15. But I assume it's gonna taste great. And we got our bikes here on the dock. It's flight mode, Mukumon, and Motor Turtle over there. Don't look for love, look for pizza. Dude, was I not record? Oh, that's so hurt. I wasn't recording. Oh, no. oh my god. It's okay. So, we're doing purple side, right? Yeah, purple side. So, uh, we're doing some rolling shots here, and I'm sitting in the back of Tommy's Buell. It's super sketchy. It's probably a really stupid idea, but we've gone like three runs so far, and I have not fallen off. And the tricky part about Thomas's camera is that you need to focus manually. So at some point I need to take both my hands off and then refocus and then and then I can put my hand on Tommy's shoulder. So uh yeah, let's get in the back here. Um Okay. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, go closer. Jesus, dude, I I don't think I'm in focus. All right, keep it right there, Tommy, keep it right there. Oh, move up now, move up. Hey, you good? Oh, thank God. No more living in fear. Okay. Wasn't as good as the last one, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay. That was a little sketchy. I feel like it's a little bit smoother going down this way yeah. than coming back this way. That was bumpy. Okay. Um, yeah, that's some uh, little behind the scenes of how he gets his shots. You're welcome, Stanley. Yeah, I'm done talking to myself. <laughs> Whoa, oh shit, my clutch cable snapped. Oh shit. No way. Pull over. Oh, not even joking. Okay. Oh no. We're good. I got your back. I got your back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, right, I'm gonna keep going. Keep going because I'm on first. Meet me down there, okay? <laughs> right, Thomas, just do clutches. Right. Clutches shifting. Yeah. Oh, just ride home. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Okay, I can't stop. It'd be cool if you guys pull with me, though. Dude, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't get off this <laughs> sidewalk, man. Oh, man. Yeah, <laughs> don't crash, eh, Stan? Oh, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with Thomas. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, this happened in California. Wait, <laughs> Stan. 
Okay, so I figured I'd do a voiceover for this part of the video only because it's kind of long and it's really hard to understand exactly what was going on. Okay, so basically we were heading to McDonald's to get some drinks and some food for a midnight snack and then Thomas's clutch cable snapped. So initially I thought we were all gonna pull over and then I obviously realized that they wanted to keep going and that's that makes more sense. So that is why I was on the sidewalk for that long period of time. I'm an idiot, I shouldn't have done that. A little piece of advice, don't be like Stan. So now we're getting to the point where we can't stop at all. So me and Tommy had to kind of coordinate this with Thomas. We were all on our center speaking luckily, but we would have to go ahead and make sure by the time that Thomas reached an intersection, the light would be green. That way he does not have to stop. Otherwise it would be pretty hard to start up the bike again. You know, it's just a whole ordeal and we don't want to have to, you know, push him every single time we want to start up the bike. Anyways, we were doing pretty well. Every time there was a red light that we hit, Thomas would just make a right and then he would make a Yui and then to make it right again to get back on the road that we just came from and as we kept going we adapted we progressed we're smart like that so about 15 minutes and like five illegal u-turns later we get to this point okay it's just gonna stall on me <laughs> can you kick it down to neutral right now <laughs> I just kill switch my bike now okay <laughs> oh shit there's no neutral oh hey I'll do it here you'll find it dude yeah you'll find it neutral's easy to find there you go Ah oh, man, dude, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Oh, it's all good, man. It, this is so much more comforting when I have friends. All the, dude, this happened on the freeway in California by myself. That's scary, dude. And I was like an hour from my. Oh place. man, yeah. I, I I couldn't do it. I wouldn't trust myself. You're gonna have to yeah. slip the keys into their front door. Well, might as well make some Instagram stories. Make most of this. Where oh, did it God. snap? It didn't snap here. Yeah. It snapped down no, here. No, didn't. No, the cable's still here. So here's the sitch. We got to Ducati BMW all in one piece. We are going to be leaving Thomas's bike over here overnight. Hopefully nothing happens to it. But now Thomas has to two up on Tommy's bike and I have, I'm obviously gonna ride mine. But the thing is, I kinda had fun doing the two up on Tommy's bike earlier. So I think I'm actually gonna let Thomas ride this and then I'm gonna two up on Tommy's bike. It's a five minute ride, so it's super short. But yeah, it should be fun. Thomas. Yeah, she's all yours. Hold up, hold up. I have to change my battery actually. Wait, I just changed my battery. I'm stupid. The clutch engages really quickly. Just keep that in mind. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm such a good friend, man, letting you ride that bike. I'll take the fall for you, man. Yo, to Tommy. What? Take me anywhere but here. Oh, I stalled it. Damn. You stalled it? <laughs> Yo, Tommy, it might be a little too late to say this, but no homo, all right? Hey, if we feel a connection, we feel a connection. Oh, it's going to be like striking vipers. <laughs> <laughs> What's the year? We'll, we'll only feel the connection on the bike. Oh, hey. I didn't realize I was recording. So this is pretty much what we do at nighttime. We we go out, we get some shots. Night photography, night videography are always a little bit more trickier because you don't have much light to play with. So that's why we go to places like this with a lot of light. And then we just use whatever light we can, really. We do have little lights on the side here as well that we use if there isn't that much light. But Granville Island generally is always lit up. So that's why we went here. And just behind me over there, I don't know if you can see it, but Thomas and Megan are just filming their own thing and I'm doing my own thing here and I figured I'd make this a little bit more personal. So just a little bit of an update on uh, my situation uh, since I quit YouTube, but that's like what, three, three videos ago. It's been uh, pretty fun for me. Obviously I get to pursue a passion of mine that I've been wanting to pursue for the last three years. And just kind of having that, that freedom of your time is always, is always a plus. And I know looking back at this, I'm, there's gonna be no regrets whatsoever. So you know what, just follow your passion guys. If there's something that you wanna do, go chase it. And I guarantee you, you'll be happier whether or not you fail. Yes, it's gonna suck if you fail at first, but that's the process of learning. Even though you guys fail, it doesn't matter. Just keep trying, pick yourself up, try again. Fail harder, that's okay too. For me as well, this is, um, if this doesn't work out for me, then that's just what it is. You know, that's the reality. And maybe I'll try again later. Maybe I'll fail again later. But you know, life's too short to just to do things that make you unhappy. Yo, Thomas. 
<laughs> put him on the spot. I was just kind of talking to uh, the people and I was just basically saying, you know, chase your passions, do what you want to do. And yeah. um, if you fail, it doesn't matter. At least you tried and you can yeah. try again, yeah. fail again. It doesn't matter, just keep trying, right? I 100% agree. Yeah. Is that what you're doing with your life? That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Am I failing right now? I don't know. Time, <laughs> time will tell. But we don't know, right? No, yeah, man. You gotta, you gotta give it a shot because you never know what would have happened if you never tried, right? It's living proof right How here. How cliche is that, dude? But I haven't failed yet, so I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a success story. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. no, I failed. I failed a few times, and it sucks. Exactly. It sucks, but it's like uh, someone said: if you, if you win, you party. If you fail, you ponder, something like that. So whenever you fail, you just get better. Because you learn something, right? Megan, what are you laughing about? She's us? just laughing at Come us. Come over here, Megan. Yeah, you're gonna say something <laughs> get now. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, I'm gonna pick this camera up. Megan, what are you doing over there, huh? Nothing. Are you just judging being us, your audience. Huh? No, being you your audience. Us? Being your supportive audience. <laughs> okay, Megan. What's up? End the video for me, please, go. No, you gotta say something. Oh. Okay, try again. Okay. Take two. The end. Happily ever after. The end. Who's happily ever after? Me. And? And me. <laughs> the great <laughs> I'm story. The, worst. the greatest story ever told. Okay, let, let's okay, let's do this the right way. So signing out, I'm just gonna tell you guys, um, live your life and do what you wanna do. Follow your passions, follow your dreams. Stand the motor man out. Peace.